What's going on, YouTube? I'm still out in the country assessing. So I thought the the visible damage that was done a few weeks ago in the storm, and y'all excuse me a minute, I'm trying to get to my little secret path. And um, I get through, and I got another tree down, another victim of the bad storm. But check this out. I didn't come to hold y'all up, but to show y'all just how tumultuous and dangerous weather can be. Some clips from around the world of the prison weekend letting you know just how deadly and how easy weather can turn on you. Catastrophic damage. Check out this video shared by All Star Basketball McCallum. Wow, the owner said the gym withstood Hurricane Hannah in 2020, but this weekend storms were just too much. Luckily, no one was hurt. The owner says he should know in the next few days exactly how much these repairs will cost. People in parts of Florida continue cleaning up this evening after severe weather moved through the area today. And that's not the only state dealing with the aftermath of Mother Nature. Shelly Malashi shows us the damage. Powerful tornado barreled through Palm Beach Gardens. The National Weather Service saying wind speeds reached at least 100 miles per hour. The storm system toppled cars in this parking lot as residents grapple with the damage. The view of, of my balcony, I, I wasn't able to see the water before, and, and now I, you know, I have a, you know, I have a water view from my place, from all the tree damage. There's cars, there's you know, 20, 30 cars in the parking lot that are total uh, cars flipped on top of each other. That storm system is moving east into the mid-Atlantic as alerts stretch from Delaware to Georgia. Meanwhile, out west, parts of Yosemite National Park are expected to reopen after being closed over the weekend due to flooding concerns. Oh my God, it's like right in front of me. Oh my God. <laughs> violent night of spring storms. Samara Theodore is here with more on all of it. Samara, good morning. Good morning. Yes, that strong storm system that rolled through Texas made its way to Florida, bringing heavy rain, hail, and at least one confirmed tornado. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It can happen this so morning, quick. This morning, a violent weather outbreak bringing tornadoes to Florida's Atlantic coast. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Wow. At the intense strength of the storm flipping cars. This tornado is seen in North Palm Beach. The storm also bringing heavy rain and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. That's a tornado. This recreation center sustaining heavy damage. Uprooted trees scattering the grounds, some falling right on top of cars. In Palm Beach Gardens, more cars flipped, landing on top of one another. Tornado. Trees falling across roads, the damage prompting a major emergency response. And in Boynton Beach, wow. heavy tree limbs crashing down on homes. And I must stress, this morning, Florida, you are not out of the woods yet. Damn, she In fact, died. you have a line of severe storms, uh, strong storms, should I say, pushing through much of the state. We have a tornado watch in effect all the way from Daytona Beach down to Miami until 2 p.m. I know it ain't storm, but yeah, let me look at it a little bit longer. Moving through areas farther north. Okay, the timing moving of this, on. We anticipate this. Shipping closures. ABC's Elwin Lopez is in Iowa with that part of the story. Elwin, good morning to you. Hey, Joe, good morning. The mighty Mississippi is getting closer to crossing, and officials are saying they That's are prepared. Take a look at these barriers. That's be bad. They stretch for about three blocks and are a few feet taller than they were just a few years ago in 2019 when a wall of water poured into the downtown area. Now, we spoke to the crews who built this. They said they worked 12 hour shifts for two and a half days in hopes that this main wall will hold back those rising floodwaters. Not too far from man, here man, in the Valley, hold. the water has already made some roads impossible. On. The residents there. In Bell County, Texas, at this wow, hour, that's a beautiful clouds but and rain view. there. In the past 24 hours, that first system delivering blinding wind and rain in the Jacksonville area, and five confirmed tornadoes across the Florida Panhandle. 
A lightning strike in Corinth, Mississippi, believed to have sparked this fire in a gas pipeline. And in Davenport, Iowa, the threat of flooding as the winter snow melts the Mississippi River, reaching the highest level in four years. Both storm systems on the move to the northeast, a very soggy weekend ahead. ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano leading us off in New York. It's on the ground. Tonight, severe weather taking direct aim at the Lone Star State. Tornado warnings, we'll wake up. This is a very dangerous storm. It's coming right at us. AccuWeather extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer tracking this lowering wall cloud west of the city. In Corinth, Mississippi, flames erupting from a gas pipeline before dawn. Officials believe a lightning strike is to blame. The new storm's coming on the heels of a separate system that brought widespread destruction to the Florida Panhandle on Thursday, including an EF2 tornado in Hosford, packing winds wow. of over 125 miles an hour. In Fort Worth, Texas, brothers Isaac Martinez and Jaden Alvarado recovering in the hospital after they were struck by lightning on Wednesday. Oh, thank God, every second that he didn't take my boys. Meanwhile, in the Midwest, the rising Mississippi River is disrupting the lives of families along its banks. Our Elwin Lopez, outside Davenport, Iowa. Major flooding, cutting off roads like this one. The only way that residents can get out here is by boat. The local energy company is shutting off gas, leaving people without an answer as to when their services will be restored. And in the West, after a record-breaking snowfall, record-breaking heat is ramping up the flood threat there. Ike Ajaji in Tulare County, California. Take a look. The flooding is well underway. And emergency responders tell me these depths range anywhere from 2 to 20 feet. And with record heat over the next couple of days, officials say it's only going to get worse. So much worse that the National Park Service shut down parts of Yosemite National Park today in anticipation of floods from the Merced River. The park says they'll stay closed until at least next week. So people, if you actually see in this... Blue skies. We're going home to say thank you. Just for the day. I'm out. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Comment, subscribe. I'm out.